Item Number SCP-2076 Object Class Keter Special Containment Procedures Due to its properties, active containment for SCP-2076 is to be established through live remote monitoring of any media sources connected to any cities in the state of Illinois. The activation of disinformation protocol CEIRT-27-04 Bowderization is to be carried out on a weekly basis by Foundation-operated assets linked to active distribution to major informative sources. Any sentient beings currently affected by SCP-2076's long-standing info-hazardous property are to undergo continuous neurological remapping through the usage of long-term anesthetic agents and monitoring of psychotic episodes matching the patterns of info-hazard-linked chronic catatonic psychosis. CDC-SCP-4298 The Foundation Guidebook for Anomalous Pathological Conditions Edition 3 Page 782 SCP-2076 is the defined designation for an info-hazardous publicity campaign currently manifesting through boulders, billboards, and local radio and television transmissions in the state of Illinois. When compared to non-anomalous publicity efforts, SCP-2076 shows no visually perceptible signs of anomalous properties in its layout, design, or distribution, and is laid out as a common low-budget marketing operation. The content of instances of SCP-2076 will invariably consist of false or incomprehensible messages delivered through short sentences highlighted in vibrant colors and depicted by forms of imagery representing a part of the situation or statement described by the phrase. This combination will be perceived by sapient beings as a part of a common and credible advertisement asset, solely distributed through means of communication, and will be interpreted as legitimate by any affected instances. Any sapient beings affected by an instance of SCP-2076 will show continuous interest in taking part in the activities described by the info hazard, while holding a constant need to permanently introduce the depicted situation to one's daily activities in an ordinary manner, and while not being able to perceive any egregious peculiarities involving one's recent behavior. Level 2-2076 Credentials Incident Log 2076-A On the date of July 21, 2000, active containment measures detected an anomalous manifestation affecting several folders being freely distributed in the Neighbors and Women's Association, matching the pattern of previous activity involving SCP-2076. Illinois the manifestation was initially observed as a publicity folder, showcasing a large amount of cardboard boxes being carried and pushed by human beings. The captioning of the folder during this manifestation was, Feeding your cardboard box with baked potatoes can increase the survival of the Golden Lion Tamarind. Following this manifestation, a significant turnover in capital stock related to packaging industries in the city of Illinois was registered along with a sudden increase in food chain sales of baked potatoes. A Foundation-elaborated public research conducted on the date of July 26, 2000 revealed that two in three members of Neighbors and Women's Association had recently acquired a relevant amount of cardboard boxes with no apparent given purpose. At time of writing, no alteration in the life cycle for specimens of Leontopithecus rosalia was registered in the wild or Foundation-operated preservation centers. Golden Lion Tamarin Addendum 2076-A The following is an excerpt of a report elaborated by the Health Surveillance Department following a complaint made by a citizen identified as the side neighbor for Miss Addison, known by the local community as the current president of the Neighbors and Women's Association. Entering the house, a foul scent identified by our on-site specialist as that of rotting vegetation was noticed by the crew. The source of the scent was then detected by several cardboard boxes, positioned on the inside and the outside of Miss household. 
Inside each of the cardboard boxes, several pieces of vegetal matter were found in an advanced state of decomposition. Dr. Gregory Masters, Health Surveillance Inspector Incident Log 2076-B On the date of December 12, 2000, Active monitoring detected a massive influx of emergency services requests reporting a shooting of massive proportions inside the Police Department precinct. Medical evacuation assets addressed the number of casualties as two human beings holding self-inflicted facial bullet wounds. A covert Foundation-operated inoculated response team ruled the cause of the incident as a mass hysteria episode related to a cognitohazardous manifestation of SCP-2076. Addendum 4-2076-B Crime Scene Investigation Inventory